Oh! They're behind us! And look at this. This guy firing the missiles. Come on, fire the missiles. Fire it! Yeah, do you see it? And it swirls around. All right, everybody, Baron here. Welcome back to Home Wars. Look at those gorgeous airships in the background. That is a unit that I would love to get in the campaign. Speaking of the campaign, it's extremely challenging. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to change a turn every three days instead of a turn every day, right? So we're going to keep everything else the same, but I think that this should allow us to get a lot of experience. So we're going to we're going to go back here. Now, first things first, we've got to build up our economy, right? And we have just enough resources right off the beginning to get two plastics factories and a metal factory. Now, metal factories, metal's more or less used to build more buildings, and plastic is obviously used to build more units. Now, since we don't have any units, look at that. See that plus 60? We're going to get a lot of experience. We are going to get a lot of experience. So, we're going to end the day, and now it's 4th of March, 2017. Now, the turns still go the different, like the same amount. It's just these turn limits, but we have 60. Actually, I don't even think... We need 60. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to try this, guys. I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to do it a turn every Look at those. Those were like what? B52s. I'm going to do one every 2 days cuz I think that'll give us I don't want it every 3 days because I think there's a time limit on when you have to like defeat the bugs or something. But honestly, at this stage in the game, in this early stage of early access development, um I just want a fighting chance, right? We may not beat the campaign, but I want to get past it. Uh, certain points. So, like I said, we know the startup build. Plastics. Plastics. And metals. And then we've got 150 and we're gonna get 30 next time. So this is the best part about it. Alright, so let's go to the unlocks department. We're gonna go to the general. Now we're gonna get a supply truck and we're going to get a sapper. Now next time we've got 30. So we might be able to get... Um, probably in two turns we'll be able to get good riflemen. Okay, so now that we've got this, it is time to go to the headquarters, and it is time to build a power station. Now we've got 400. There's nothing that costs 400, unfortunately, so we can't buy anything like that, but that's fine, because now, guys, now we got to build our scouts. And these guys, I tell you what, we're going to build... We're going to build... I think we're going to do... Maybe four groups of these guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to move them all out. Basically, I'm going to try to blitzkrieg all of these rooms. Now, unfortunately, everybody's got to go to the central nexus. Oh, well, they can't do it on the turn they were, they were made. So we're going to have to skip this day. We're going to the next one. We've got a good supply of power. We've got a decent amount of metal. We've got some plastic, and we've got 60 resources. So now we can get our first group of like soldiers right so this is the key thing like I don't it's almost like you have less time to do it but you get more experience so is it a is it worth it I think for people who are new and just starting out this bit of experience is key right so we're gonna march all of our armies now we gotta make sure we don't hit the flag or it's just kind of obnoxious yeah see that gotta all right so everybody's getting into position now can we get another building because I like buildings. We like resources, right? This is a pretty intense resource management game. Now, do we want to get one of these? It's a thousand and sixty. We can't, but we could get. Uh, we could get a pla We could get a metal factory. I'm gonna do that. And um, I don't think we need to do anything else. Like all the armies here, we don't need an army just yet. So we're gonna skip ahead. Go to turn three. The bugs have taken that flag. They're not anywhere else. So now we start to move everybody to the rooms to start gathering these, like, secondary resources. Understood, Understood Commander. Move out. Yes, moving out. All right, so let's see. What can we do now? We've got 50. I could do another plastics factory. But we want to make sure that we've got a lot of power. Power station uses chemical material. I don't know which one of these is chemical material, unfortunately. 
Um, but dude, we're at 90. So what we could do is let's see this. Let's go to research. The unlocks, right? These guys are 50 and these guys are 75. So we should be able to get them next time. Yeah, these guys, no, we won't be able to get them next time unless we build a headquarters. We've got to build this building, which is the military academy. We don't have enough metal, but there is something kind of cool about this, right? So I, I discovered this last time after messing around with it because it's not the most intuitive at first. So what we're going to do is we are going to sell. So basically... You've got to go over this, and you just got to kind of experiment with it. But so we're going to sell. We want to get ten of that, right? So we're going to have to sell something else. But we've got this. All right, deal. That's what a hundred. Now, can we buy this yet? Can we buy? All right, so it's like ten to one kind of thing. So let's go ahead. We'll do a hundred. Perfect. Now we'll close the deal, and now we've got the 10 metal that we wanted so that we can basically rush this building out if we needed to. I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but it's what we're doing right now because we're going to crush these bugs, guys. No longer will I sit under the yoke. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. I was like, wait a minute, because we're getting shotgunners next turn. By turn four, we're going to have shotgunners. Now the bugs are going to start be moving around. And look at that, the first one's arrived, so our scout has, actually before we move out, he's got 32. 20 groups of 20, so 400 of that, and then 14 times 12, whatever that equals, there's a lot of mosquitoes. There is a lot of enemies to worry about here. So, the one thing I don't like about this is I have to, I have to manually press retreat even though I don't have any guys there. It should have an automatic countdown. It is an early access, but I would like to see the developers make that kind of a change. So we've got all of these rooms done. So now I think since the bugs are here, it's time to build our first army. Now let's go ahead and unlock the assault troops. And then I think the next thing I want is a recon vehicle. They're pretty good, or maybe some artillery. Like, there's a lot of stuff, guys. There's a lot of cool things. So we're going to get these assault troops. Now, assault troops are really good at crowd control. They got shotguns, right? So that means... Now, let's see. How are we doing? We should probably build a uh, power plant soon. Not this turn, because we're going to need to build an army. Okay, so let's build our first army, right? So you're going to need at least two supply trucks. They will heal and rearm all of your soldiers. Now, we don't have any artillery, air force, or other vehicles, but we do have some sappers. We'll want two of those. They're very, very expensive. We'll want some assault troops for the front lines. And then we'll get some uh, rifles. And let's go with uh, two... What are these? 250? Yeah, we'll go with these. And we'll create that army. So this army is ready to stand in. It is 22 units strong, but it's a nice mix. So, let's go ahead and end the day here. And I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so they're attacking now. Here we go. Oh, I did not want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and take it, take control of this guy. So we're going to see how these ants, they start slowing down on the barbed wire. Boys, you will hold the line. The ants and the mosquitoes are coming. And we will not be denied our glory. Get out of my face, mosquito. Dude, the shotgun guys. All right, so now we got to make sure that our trucks are covering our troops effectively. Oh my god, dude. We need we need guards to protect the uh, rear parts of the line. Some mosquitoes are getting in. Dude, look at the ants slowing down on the barbed wire. All right, so what do we want now? A jumping mine? Landmines? What's this shelter? I don't know what that is. Maybe that protects us from... Oh, the enemies are too close! Run! Run from the ants! Oh my god, we're getting... We're starting to get overrun. Oh no. Oh no! I thought we were going to hold out forever. But the, the supply trucks are healing themselves. Oh god. Oh god, dude. The ants are attacking the... Uh, dude, if we start taking casualties, this is going to be bad. 
Oh no, I don't know how many we've killed, but I think it's too early to get overrun. This is bad. This could be bad. But we've got a lot of overlap. And I don't think that I can build any... Enemies are too close for sappers, huh? Well, I guess what we could try to do... If we put... Oh, good, we can do that. We could, we could have a tactical fallback. Enemies too close. Oh my god, mosquitoes, dude. We haven't taken any casualties. Here we go. Yes, I can make one over there. Okay, perfect. Oh, this poor guy. Run, soldier! Get to the health crates! I think we're slowly holding on, but I don't know if we can... I don't know if this is... Now, should we sacrifice our sappers? Oh, we're starting to take casualties. This is where it starts to fall apart. Oh, dude. Okay, so I think we just didn't have the numbers. We fought... Or, or we didn't get enough defenses up, maybe, early enough? We've definitely learned, though. Alright, so I don't think I can retreat in the middle of the battle. Oh god, dude. It's a massacre out there. Everybody's dying now. Okay, but how many did we kill? Huh. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was one of the air mines, I think. We could have pulled everybody past this, but... Alright, so let's see. How many did we kill? Because honestly, I thought we were going to be able to hold that out. I don't think we had enough soldiers. So there's 10 groups remaining, so there's, what, 200? We did a pretty good job. We killed over 1,000, but it wasn't enough. Okay, so we lost that. We got 1,500, so we're going to have to immediately create an army. There's only 16 left. We could actually counterattack. Um, so what we're going to have to do is immediately go to making... Now, I wonder what it was about that. Just not enough riflemen, maybe? Because assault troops are more complementary, I think. They're not like the end-all be-all. But we do have 125. So next turn, we're going to get recon vehicles. And those should help put us over the edge. So let's go ahead and get... We'll get three supply trucks. And we'll get, what, two sappers, maybe. We don't need... I don't think we need more than that. And then we're going to have to have... We'll have, what, five? And then a crap ton of riflemen. How many units is that? How many units is that? Because we just had... That is 23. I think our last army was, what, 22? Something like that, maybe? Maybe a little more? Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to get the recon vehicle next. I'm very excited for that. Look. They are attacking... Where else are they going? Oh my gosh, look at this. See, 96 bugs? You gotta be kidding me. It's almost like... I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, let's go. We'll do the retreat. Now, hopefully... Do I retreat here? Look at that. 44 and 52 mosquitoes. We need something that's gonna be good against them. So we are going to get... Recon vehicles. We've got that up. So now I think we should pump those guys out, man. Let's recruit another unit. All right, recruit new army. We're going to have, what, two supply trucks and a whole lot of recons. Now we'll get some riflemen. Recruit that army, man. We got we to gotta fight the good fight here, guys. Now we could send our army out there, but they're going to attack. I'm fairly certain they're going to attack us in a moment. So, did we mess up? I think we may have messed up. Look at it. And then they just go on this Blitzkrieg and they take everything. So, we're going to send these guys to scout. But I still have to manually defend and retreat all these. Hold on. We're going to counterattack. It's time to counterattack, boys. Alright, I'm trying to click this flag. All right, so look at this. This is, a, this is a small group. This is a real small group. We're going to crush them. That's our goal. All right. Uh, I'd like to get this army here. And I would like to get this army here. Dude, counterattack? I'm excited for this, man. We might get our first victory here. 
I've got to go. Oh, that's 48. That's a big group. Luckily, they split off. So if we give them numerous different groups to fight, they're going to have a problem. So we're at 55. Can we get another unlock? Tanks, light anti-aircraft, or assault vehicle? Ooh, 40 millimeter ammunition. These guys are 100. I definitely want mechs, but we're not, we're not anywhere where we could get a good one. So I think I should have a defensive force to protect this. Um, but before we do that, we are going to go on the counterattack. So we got one light rifleman and then a pretty decent sized groups against 16 groups. Yeah, it's over for you guys. We are going to fight. All right, so this actually, we got to protect the sappers because the sappers we're going to use to try to kill the enemy base. Now, we don't have artillery. We might actually want to get artillery next. Now, I'm not sure what this is all about, like why there's another building here. But we have more time to prepare for this. Interestingly enough, maybe it means like there's the offensive. So let's go ahead and press tab to get a feel for where there's no ant mount. What does that mean? Um, find the objectives of the battle. Defend the allied outpost. Oh, this is cool. So all I have to do is defend. I don't have to kill their stuff. Okay, perfect. We'll get rid of that. And let's see. We're going to get our reinforcements now. Artillery or supply trucks first. And we're going to have some, what, back here, I guess. We're going to have, like, one to kind of navigate through there. Now we got their infantry. So we're going to have our two sappers in the, well, not in the back. Maybe, like, right here. Actually, no, no, no. Oh, God. How, see, how do, you, how do you undo something, right? All right, we've only got five shotgun troopers. Put them on the front. Now, our recon vehicles are better. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll do one, two, three, four here. Go back to infantry, get our, our good boys. And we'll have like this second line to kind of move up. And the one light. Now, do we have anything else? That's everything. Okay, so we are going, I think we have enough time to prepare a pretty decent defense. So we're going to put up barbed wire, and alright, like we got to move these line up for sure, alright, alright, more barbed wire, we've got a little bit of time still, this definitely helps slow down the ants at the beginning. And I don't know if we need all this, but we're definitely not going to not do it if we have the time and the resources. There's no reason in taking more casualties than we need to. All right, we, we got a pretty decent front line forming here. All right, we're going to space out the shotgunners. Going to spread out these riflemen here. All right, now the supply truck should be able to cover almost everybody. I think they're going to be more pushing on this side of the line, so we're going to have the recon vehicles over here. And I'm actually going to take one and explore. All right, what do we want? Let's try let's try Dragon's Teeth. Why not, right? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to check Hedgehogs? Hell yeah. All right. So the attack's coming. We're going to take this recon vehicle. Here are defenses. We will hold the line. We got bugs. Oh, wow. We're already dropping some of them. The bugs. The ants. All right. I think I need to pull him back. Um, We're going to... Oh, can I put more? No, I don't think I can. I want, I want some sandbags. Where's the other guy? He's here. Do we want a barrage balloon? Of course we do. Now, where's the other guy? The builder. Gonna have a few of those balloons. Okay. 
Yeah, dude, they're, we're, they're, we're crushing them. Okay, oh, they're actually spreading out. What it, oh shoot, was I? I don't think I was anticipating that. All right, so now I gotta find my two sappers and put them in a protected spot. Now, it would be nice to have like a unit menu. Okay, so that looks like a sapper. And that looks like a sapper. These two guys are gonna have to eventually, well, I guess we're just defending, right? And we're holding them off pretty well. Actually, create some barbed wires over here. Oh yeah, they're they're flanking. Move out. Tactical. Move out. Yeah, they're they're trying to get it on the sides here. Now buildings are produced pretty fast. Oh boys, this is it, man. This could be our first significant victory against the bugs. So now we're gonna speed it up because I feel pretty confident that our forces can hold out. Because the objective here is just to defend. Yes! Congratulations, General! You're victorious! Yeah, look at that. Flame torch. Look at that. We killed all of them. Okay. So, I think it feels weird because I attacked, but it was considered a defense, right? So, what, what's up with that? Walk over. Mission completed. Oh, we got two victories. Look at that. And that's... That's my flag. Do we? Could I? Could I actually move there now? Oh, dude, I want to start counterattacking and kicking all the bugs. So, guys, I'm feeling good. We we have counterattacked against the bugs, those dirty, dirty miscreants, and I'm feeling pretty good about it, man. I'm feeling pretty good. I think we could definitely start counterattacking and taking this back. Um, the tech, the tech thing that's going up right now is very helpful, right? So we got 57, so I think we got seven victory points, maybe, or we got some we got some experience just for fighting in a battle and winning. So I'm wondering what we should do here. I kind of want to build another building to get just get like production crazy. Now to do that, I think I want plastic. Because then we can start building expensive stuff. That's 50. Look at that, and we still have everything else coming in. I wonder, could we get one of these? No, it's a thousand. It's a thousand, but we could sell something maybe. We could actually sell metal to get the 90 plastic. Let's do that so we can put one of these into production. Um, so we're gonna go to the market and let's go ahead and sell. I'm gonna do alt. I think now let's. I need 90, right? Okay, how many, what does I sell in here? 10. Why is it only 40? I guess we could sell more. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? Eighty-three. We're seven short. All right. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Close the deal. Get it. Now we're going to go back and we're going to produce the uh, training facility. Military Academy. Um, build. And look at that. We're still, we're still in the... Look at that. We're going to get 107. This is awesome. Okay, guys. So that's going to be it for uh, this campaign. I'm going to do some custom battles. But so what I want, I want you guys to know, I want to ask you this. So here's the here's the question for you guys. Should we go heavy riflemen and go to mechs? Should we diversify our portfolio? Should we go should we get some artillery next? Like that's the thing. We're going to have 100 um or should we save up for like helicopters? I don't know. I think we should we should work on But yeah, I want to know like what do you think we should unlock next? Should we go heavy riflemen or what what are the generals a supply helicopter? Sup flying version of supply truck observer it doesn't have direct weapons largest visual range oh wow interesting and paratrooper transport damage multiplier dude there's a lot of things we could do let me know what we should unlock for the next video and let's get into some customs all right guys so now we're going to be doing some custom battles look at that that grasshopper eating the guy is awesome okay so we've got to defend the outpost right now I believe they could come from any direction. 
and here's the outpost we have to defend. So what I wanted to go with this time was a number of infantry and units that are kind of beginning level units or or rather just like not insane but the next custom battle um in this episode we are going to be doing some crazy stuff because i want to get a feel for what units we should probably go for in the campaign right so let's go ahead oh we got apache helicopters boys we got some cobras we definitely need this guy up in the air oh my god we've got air power guys this is awesome okay now, these guys are going to be our frontline soldiers. What? What's up? Am I... Oh my god, I'm out of battle points. Alright, so we're going to start this battle. We're going to see the mightiness of this air force. Oh gosh! Now, how do... Oh, there we go. There, there's how you do it. That is cool. Look how cool that looks. Boop! That looks awesome. All right, and then we've got these airships. Now, these are going to be weird to maneuver around. But I think, I don't know if they attack ground targets or not. All right, airship reporting. Let's see, can we get a decent view on what this is all about? Oh, man. Look at that. If, if the helicopters were closer, that would be perfect, right? So we got really cool air forces here. Um, now let's move up our guys. We're out of battle points. I think I accidentally selected not a lot of battle points at the beginning. Maybe. I'm excited to see how these attack choppers like wreck the enemy. I think we could keep... I think we can keep these guys. What is this guy again? He's a, a heavy rifleman. <laughs> We don't even have sappers on the battlefield. This is gonna be weird, man. Okay. All right, we've got this battle. He's got double flamethrowers? Oh, wow. Now, unfortunately, like, he's got double cannons. Here, yeah, we're gonna fire blindly. What? That was weird. And uh, I don't know where the bugs are, but I know we got some big ones coming in. Where are the enemies? I repeat, we need we need uh, support. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out this scout. Son, you've been tasked with a great duty to scout out the enemy reinforcements. We need to know where they're at. Okay, I'll go look for them. I don't see any bugs. <gasps> There's some bugs! Oh my god. Incoming rocket artillery! We're gonna go find the big ones. Oh god, oh my god, where these things are coming from the sky? He's after me! Oh, oh my god, he just got smashed. Do, 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 do. Go for it, Sonny! Oh my god, where's where's the big spiders? Oh god! The tarantula! It, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Get out of my face, you dirty bug! These things are huge! Oh, it's a scorpion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just keep running, son. Oh my god, we got hit by one of them? Look at this, a praying mantis! <laughs> oh my god, the bugs! Oh my god, the spiders and the scorpions. Oh, oh, something's attacking me. Yeah, right, idiot. Oh my god, who dropped napalm? Who is dropping napalm strikes? <gasps> the giant scorpion. And he's going to come out of the fire, or is he going to die? We got a man down? Oh my god. Flaming scorpions. Is he dead? Oh, we're at, we're reloading. I don't know what's happening back at the base. Oh my god, what's happening is we're getting overrun. Reinforcements. We need immediate reinforcements. We've lost all frontline units. Everybody's dead. Call in the flamethrowers. Call in the grenade launchers. Call in the mortar tubes. The grasshoppers overran us. Alright, 
We gotta toast these fighties. The airships, are they, are they, they're firing. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna get wrecked. Burn it! Burn it with fire! Oh, we got defeated, all right. Well, that was absolutely insane. That was what uh, not a very well-balanced army looks like, but those are some of the bugs we might have to fight in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what customs we should do and what units we should unlock for the campaign. And look at that. We got these beautiful Apaches, and I will see you guys in the next one.